Cosford, we've got over 2,000 people, we've got hundreds of families. So actually, we're quite a big neighbour. So we're, it's quite important that we engage with the local community. So it's important that they understand what we do. And I think their understanding of what happens at Cosford now is better than it's ever, ever has been. So I'd say our relationship with the local community like Albrighton, Codsall, places like that, is really quite good. We get quite a lot of support. But they do. Uh, um, they could, at times, it could be better. Uh, sometimes, depending on, on who's in charge where, like a lot of environments, um, relationships get better and worse sometimes, depending. On the whole, yes, I think they do. They're quite good neighbours together. My dad's in the RBF, and because like of issues and stuff, and like because the postings and stuff um, happened to move down south, therefore um, I'm going to have to like look for colleges down there, leave everything here, leave Cara. I guess they were my best friends for ages. Yeah. You know, it'd be hard, but we we can still like Skype and FaceTime and stuff, and we'll see each other like every other weekend because nothing really can do about it. Really, with all the moving we did and the changes of schools and all the other things, I often wondered if it interrupted their education and all this kind of stuff. We're moving every two, three years. Because like when you're only going to be there for like three, two years, you don't really feel like you can make roots and kind of make friends and stuff because you think, oh well, I can make friends one day, but I'll be moving the next. I've never lived on camp in my life, but because both of my mum and dad come on it, we come on. And it's it's almost like a home from home because everyone in the military kind of treats you like family and it's kind of one big family. So you don't really feel like an outsider when you come, you just feel like you can fit in and everyone's really nice to you. We, we go for the annual Christmas party because we're over 70. Very good party, yeah. yeah they'll treat us well. And Sherry's very good. <laughs> Yes, I take my little boy around the museum and I've also been to the air show every year since I was little actually, it's been going a long time. Well, we've lived in Old Brighton how long since? Oh, 56 years. Oh yeah, we always go to the air show and we had a, a, a nice invitation from RAF Cosford for the pensioners uh, um, party at Christmas which was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, very nice. I think they gel very well. Uh, All Brighton, I don't think All Brighton would exist. Well, it'd be very poor All Brighton. All Brighton and Cosford gel very well. All Brighton would die. If Cosford was to close and, or move, All Brighton would just fade away, I think. When I first came to All Brighton, which was in 2002, the trainees were actually banned from All Brighton. There was a lot of trouble. Um, they were blamed for everything going wrong from litter down the street to fisticuffs. Um, that has all changed over the years. Whether they've been more well behaved I don't know or whether they're a bit more considerate when they go down to the village. Being a military kid you can see how when you come here and you do things with your military friends they understand more than your civilian friends. Like I can go out and I can say my dad's doing this and I just be like oh okay and you could come here and you could say it again but people completely understand you they completely understand what you're going through and it's really nice to have people you can go to who know what it's like i think it's very much a air force base and then the village but we're part of the local church and that's how we've made our friendships through that way so i don't know whether there's a natural affiliation between the two but we've gone looking for it so we've made it happen well, when a parent's sent away, you kind of know it's good. it's for the greater good and that you don't kind of have a say in the means sometimes. And that it's kind of good sometimes because, you know, it means an extra dough and stuff. And, um, but yeah, it can be kind of heartbreaking for when your dad's going away for, say, like a few months or if you're going to Afghanistan, you do kind of wonder for their safety. But due to, like... Uh, technology these days and that you're still able to talk to them a bit and do stuff like that. I think that you know the same things bond them as bond any young people you know opportunities to try new things opportunities to relax and have a laugh and when when people can do that you know barriers come down don't they so um, yeah and obviously having cool stuff like ourselves <laughs> yeah like <laughs> down with the kids yeah, proper you know, trendy you down, know uh, awesome facial down. hair yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> it kind 
of weird because at school we do clubs and you have to be in the REF and stuff and I don't really get to see my friends like Erin if she goes so yeah it's a bit weird. I do think that the Armed Forces Community Covenant has helped people to get on and mix together more um, because before the Community Covenant we used to be here on the station and we probably didn't mix so much with the local communities but now that um, the government has made this pledge to the nation about bringing the two communities together um, I think it's provided a platform for people to um, become friends, share their experiences about living in the different communities. You know, the, the two experiences and the two backgrounds coming together, I think yeah. it's a good learning curve for everybody. I remember when I came through here in 98, um, things probably weren't the best. There was a bit of animosity between the local people and, and the people on the camp. Um, but now it, it's really good, yeah, really, really good, it's improved. I think it works very well. Um, a lot of people in Shawbury are actually ex-military anyway, so they've settled in the area um, and I think that um, it just goes to show how happy everybody is actually you know, living and working together in, in this rural area. Every year we go uh, camping out on the Dota, which is the uh, deployed operational training area, which is behind the wire. So some civilian young people will get to come to that and they'll be able to learn a bit more about uh, the RAF community and what it's like to serve in the, in the military and I think that that helps break down the barriers maybe between the two groups. Youth Club and the Dota is really quite important because it shows other people um, what is expected of the military, the sort of conditions that they can live in. Um, I recently went away out of area and the Dota was actually fantastic for my daughter, who's a similar sort of age to you guys, uh, to actually see what sort of conditions and uh, how we live, how we work and how we look after ourselves when we're away on deployment. I like it and I don't like it because we get posted a lot so like when we move we make loads of friends and then we get posted about three years later and then we have to leave our friends and make new friends and then, then it's really hard. I don't really like it because you, you're making friends but then you suddenly just out from nowhere you get promoted to go to move somewhere else and then you, get, you have to leave all your friends. I, I like it because whenever, if we do end up moving, it's like a new adventure because you go somewhere new and it's like, it's like holiday because you don't stay there generally for ages. It's like you go there, this place will be fun and then you go to somewhere new so really it's like going on holiday or something like this. Uh, I think it's got a lot better because people understand more about what we do because we, we've, we've been in Iraq and Afghanistan which has made the RAF and the Army and the Navy appear on TV a lot more so it means that people have been more interested in what we do and at the same time we've been engaging with people more and it's really important that people understand what we do because we need their support.